All right, guys, I got some great news. I got this magnetic ball, uh, that one inch uh, hematite ball, running at low speed and quietly in a Bedini charger circuit. And man, it's running like a champ. There's an LED showing induction coming off of the spinning ball and that coil collapsing and charging and collapsing and coil. That's not hooked to anything. That's just a coil of wire with an LED on it. And I got the amp draw way down to where it should be a 12 volt power source there. And uh, this is the charging on the back end. And let me show you how this is going. And this is turning very low RPM now. This is not revved up at all. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge that cap up there and watch this climb. This goes off scale. Do it again. It goes up in a hurry. But yeah, that's that little guy right there is pretty neat. That's a plastic tube that fits inside the bifighter coil. And what it was was a um, a gumball tube. Of gumballs came in that thing. It cost me a buck at the 99 cent store. And uh, I put uh, three-in-one oil in it. I tried different lubricants, water and silicons and stuff, and just a little bit of three-in-one oil, and off she goes. And uh, it's not real smooth, but it's slow. And that's what I wanted. I wanted a slow speed that didn't irritate the neighbors and that would still charge like a champ. And man, this thing really does its thing. And uh, I think this would run... Uh, I got this set up more permanent and made it fixed and I uh, kept that uh, the thing sealed up. It's sealed on both ends so the oil is not going anywhere. That thing would just run and run and run and um, you can adjust it with the things here. And I can rev this up. You can hear what it sounds like when I rev it up but it pulls a lot of amps. Brightness on the LED. I'll let it go back down again. It doesn't rev up nearly as high as it did the other day, but I don't care because I, I couldn't tolerate that noise. And the charging is what I was looking for. Something that it would uh, it would do the charging thing, and man, it really does. And that's uh, that's the collapsing of that field that that magnet is causing. It's shooting the energy over to that battery. And uh, I'm real happy with that set up there. That looks like a winner. Real easy way to go with uh, that ball magnet. Now I'd probably take that energy there and put that in a battery rather than an LED. That's just showing the energy, but uh, that's just induction coming off that spinning ball there and uh, that collapsing field of that magnet. Pretty neat.